Let's talk the rest of the story when it comes to my $3,200 loss that I did a video on last week, which you can see here on the screen. So I would encourage you to go watch that one first because if you want the big picture learning lesson, which is a very important one, then you're gonna get that by watching, let's just call it part one of that video, and I'll put a link down to it in the description box here. And what it's gonna help to show is just how much damage, how much effect one simple slip up can have. And it also then compounds into another talking point that I made, which is the main area here I wanna focus on of how I was right. I was completely right. I was completely accurate in one of my statements and one of my claims that turned out to be true. So I supposed to pat myself in the back. I can sit here and say, see, I told you so. But the problem is that I told you so has been completely corrupted by the fact that I also made that big mess up. So made the big mess up again, why I did it, what I was trying to do, what led to it, that's all in part number one, but I wanna focus on the rest of the story, so let's take a look. So here is the rest of that week, and I'll admit just up front, I'm not trying to hide anything or anything. I, I realize that looks pretty bootleg, but I did. I, I, I you know, just took screenshots from various areas of the account statement because I wanted to just focus on the numbers here that are actually proving the point that I wanna talk about. But you can see right here, I made that trade, Again, a single trade which had me down $3,200. And then I did what I talked about in the video was, okay, after that trade, I reset and I went back to trading my strategy. Or more specifically, behaving as I should. And even more specific than that, managing risk. Having all my focus on risk control and risk management, which I realize is a very boring topic, but it's a topic that matters the most. So I went back to focusing on risk, risk management, all of that, and you can see that I ultimately dug my hole from, or dug myself out of the hole from being down $3,200 to being down, quote unquote, only $1,900 uh, or $1,925. And just if you're not familiar with the screen, this is the column that actually matters because this is net, meaning this is after all the commissions and fees. So this is the column here that I'll be focused on. But that's where I went, down 3,200, and then went back into let's manage risk, let's focus on risk, let's make wise decisions based on risk, and only ended up $1,900 in, or $1,925. Then you can see the next day, 454, 540, 489, which is combined up here with that 576. So I mean, started off the week uh, fine, and then just had that one trade. So I mean, what, what's the overall impact of this? Well, let's pull up the calculator here and let's just see how this, so went, uh, you know, started off. So started off with this, let's just call it $19.25 hole. And then let's see, could I actually dig out of it? So I had the plus 576, then I had the 454, then I had the 540, still in the hole, and then I had the 489, which brought me to $134 profit on the week. And think about it, that's not because I had a bad day. That would be inaccurate. This was not a bad day. That was actually a good day minus the one trade. So not a bad day during the week, one bad trade during the entire week. That's the impact of it. Not a bad day. I realize that can look like a bad day. That's not what I'm saying though, because actually that was a pretty good day when I got back to the strategy going from minus 3,200 to minus 1,900. But one bad trade can do this to you. And if this pain, if this annoyance can motivate you in any way, shape or form to just not do all the things that I talked about in part one, then I will consider this a great success because it is brutal how bad things can get. Now, I am very grateful to know that even with that big slip up I had, I was still able to close the week green, but had I behaved as I should have, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go kind of err on the side of caution here, then this would have been a minus $400. Now, in all actuality, because that would have been a controlled loss, I would have continued to trade, and because there were so many opportunities on that day, this would have actually been a good solid green day. So from minus 400, that would have been wiped away and put in the green, but that's, also, I admit, maybe a little too hypothetical. Well, how big of a green day? So I'm not even gonna factor those numbers into the calculations, but let's just say I just simply stopped at minus 400. I mean, look what that would have done for the numbers. That would have made a huge impact. That adds in another $1,500, and that would have been a, you know, a, a much, so, I mean, that, that would have been a very solid green week had I just stopped at 400. But 
as per you know part one, I didn't stop when it was at 400, and then things spun out of control. And you can see that on the week. Wow, did that have quite the impact? And you know, I in some situations I've been there where one trade can have a big impact on a month. Um, potentially, potentially, I mean, one trade can have an impact on an entire year, an entire you know couple of months. In this situation, it was, you know, had the big impact on, 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 on a week. But isn't that crazy to think that not a bad day, just one single bad trade can have that much impact on an overall week. So just be aware of that. Don't do what I talked about in part number one, because as you can see the rest of the story, I mean, but do what I do in the sense of when I'm commenting on, hey, focus on risk management, follow the rules of your strategy, which better be based in risk management. I mean, look at this, went right back to, how it should have been, but just took that one and you're now witnessing the results of it. So, I mean, if you're you're not alone if you've been here, and I know that I'm not alone, because after that first video, several people actually reached out to me. I got a couple of emails where people were showing me screenshots saying, hey, I've been there, look at look at these results. So, I mean, I certainly know that I'm not alone, but you know, the idea here is that if this you know pain, because I don't want to talk about this, I'll. I have no problem admitting that as somebody that, that as a YouTuber, I want to be posting like big green days. I want to be talking about big green weeks, not weeks where I made $134. I mean, no, I, I don't want to, but if this can help you out, good. So use this annoyance on my part. Use this, uh, I'm not going to say pain because that would be a little dramatic because I am still grateful that I, I was actually green on the week, but use this frustration. I am frustrated. I am annoyed that I could have had such a much different outcome on the week had it not been for that one trade. And if I can help you avoid doing what I did, then you know what, I'll consider this a mission success. So if you enjoyed this video, if you appreciate the transparency, like I said, I don't wanna be posting these videos, but if you appreciate the transparency, if, if you, uh, you know, benefit from these, then please hit that like button, leave a simple comment below, little things like that really go a long way. Also check out the channel as a whole and if you like what you see, then at that point I'll ask you, hey, please hit that subscribe button, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. But remember, doesn't even take an entire day, doesn't even take an entire week, like, oh, that was a bad week, that was a bad day, no, no, no. All it takes is a bad trade and you can have a pretty big impact on overall results. So keep that in mind and don't do what I did. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.